Hello and welcome to a quick video on how mobile technology works. Many people, especially non-technical personnel I've spoken to in the past, are under the misconception that mobile communications rely on satellite technology. However, this really is not the case. So let's start by looking at how landline technology works in general. For example, we have the public switch telephone network. So this is the old telephone exchange from which we get our landline connectivity. So this main exchange, PSTN, has multiple exchanges which are distributed across the country. This provides connectivity from outside to inside your house. However, the same PSTN network or same service provider may also provide internet connectivity to you, in which case they have a connection to the outside world, which is the internet, and this internet connectivity will come from the same copper cable. You will also have some kind of splitter to help connect the Wi-Fi router in addition to your landline phone. I know this is a very simplistic explanation, but I just want to help people understand the basic concepts. So from this Wi-Fi router, you can connect your smartphones, your tablets, laptops and computers via Wi-Fi or directly via Ethernet cable. In the case of mobile network operators, it works in a similar way. The mobile network operator will have their operation centre or data centre, and these mobile operators need to communicate both the data and voice aspects of your phone, so they will connect to the same PSTN as well as the internet. Now, if there are multiple mobile operators, as is the case in most countries, they will connect to each other. So all these operators in PSTN, in a country or in one geographic location, will be connected to each other. This is to avoid having each call go through the outside world. Here I have shown that as the internet, but you can have different kinds of connectivity. For example, IP exchange, other mechanisms of connectivity. To avoid a lengthy process, the operators and the PSTN connect directly to each other. Now the operator has the core network. The core network controls the calls, voice or data. By data calls, I mean your browsing sessions. Now, the core network will be located in the data center. So this core network would connect to several base stations which are distributed geographically. So if we look back at the PSTN, this was connected to the many different exchanges and it works in a similar way. So the mobile network operator connects to the core network, which connects to the base to the different base stations. The core network connects to the base stations via a link called PAC call. There can be many different kinds of backhaul links. In the old days of the 2G GSCM, it used to be the copper cable. We used to have different kinds of circuits called E1 and T1, which were effectively just copper cables. Later on now, we have 3G, 4G, and even with the upcoming 5G, this backhaul link is now a fibre cable. But if you are in a remote location where you cannot have a copper or fibre cable, you may have connectivity via microwave links. This microwave link may not come directly from the core network. For some distance, you may have fibre connectivity followed by microwave. Satellite connectivity may also be deployed for remote and rural areas. So one can have many different kinds of backhaul connectivity. Now these base stations connect to different kinds of antennas. So some base stations would only connect to one antenna, like the one in the centre, where there are multiple antennas. So there are lots of different kinds of combinations possible. So from the base stations to the antennas, this is known as the access network. And then you have the air interface through which your phones can connect. So if you think about it, your mobile network operator works in a very similar way to the way your old telephone exchange works. So that's about it. I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for listening and any comments and feedback would be very much appreciated.